to remove the filament from the printer, we're going to go back to the main screen. So I'll scroll up to main, tap, and then tap again. Scroll down to prepare, and then scroll down to auto retract filament, and then tap. The nozzle is going to heat back up to 210 degrees, and then the gears on the side of the machine will pull the filament out of the nozzle. Okay, when you get back to this screen, you can kind of see a little bit that the filament has been unloaded up to this point. You can see the shadow there, and then there's like the clear white tubing below. So it doesn't eject the filament completely out of the side. What I need to do now then is pull on the lever to separate the gears and grab a hold of the filament and pull it the rest of the way out. Notice how my filament unspooled. It's because it's like a wound up spring. I'm going to maintain control of the end of this and I'm going to wrap this back up so that it's nice and tight. And if you have to take it off and rewind it so that it's tight, then do so. You definitely do not want your filament to be loose on the spool. You want it to be nice and tight. Okay, now once I get to this point, I'm going to find a hole on the side and pass the end of the filament through there and pull it nice and tight. You may notice too that on the end, of the filament, there's kind of a blob and a long string. We don't want to feed the filament in next time in that condition, so while I'm thinking of it, I'm going to go ahead and snip the end of this at an angle so that I have a nice clean cut. Now we can set aside the spool holder, and I have my one gallon Ziploc bag with a desiccant packet in it into which I can put my roll of filament squeeze out as much air as I can and ziplock it shut until the next time I use it.